Which you guys got another video on how to fix run error messages in Windows 11. This also works in Windows 10 as well. So if you're opening up an application and you're getting an error message like this one right here, where it says msvcr.100.dll is was not found, reinstalling the program may fix the problem. It's not going to fix the problem. It's because the file is missing. And this is because you don't have the right files installed on your operating system. And this can be for any DLL error or any particular type of program that you're running on that system. You're going to need to replace these files and put them back on the computer. Now, the Microsoft Visual C++ redistribution latest uh, downloads is what you need. You can see Visual Studio has many different uh, versions, 2015, 2017, 19, and 2022. There's also some older versions, which some programs may need to work properly. And you may need to download the x86 and the x64 uh, versions, depending on uh, what type of program requirements is needed. So for instance, when I download the 64-bit version here, this is for the 2015 I'm going to be downloading all of these and installing them on this system. Now, I do know that 2010 uh, version of Microsoft Visual C++ does have that DLL inside there, the 32-bit and the 64-bit. But you're going to need to want to download all of these and get them installed, both the 32-bit and the 64-bit if it's needed, okay? So don't just install the 64-bit because you might still need the 32-bit if that program requires that to be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and download all of these and get them installed on the system. You can see we've just done 2013. There's also 2012 here. It does say no longer supported, but some programs might be needing this particular one. So it's always best to install these on the system and that way uh, it's going to make sure that program works correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Also, if you're playing uh, some games or retro games, some of these retro games will require uh, these uh, C++ files. You can see here, this one is 2010. You definitely want to do 64-bit and 32-bit for this particular version, and this will make that program run perfectly fine. And I'm pretty sure that when you start installing all these and restart your PC... You should have no problems whatsoever. So now we've done that, I'm going to quickly restart. And uh, we've not done just yet. I just want to show you some other things you can do to try and rectify some of these problems that you might be having with different types of DLL uh, errors. So once we boot this PC up, we're going to be downloading and installing the .NET Framework next. And this is another one that some programs or applications will need. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into control panel here by searching for control panel and you can do that by clicking on the start button here type control panel and once we've done this click on control panel and from here uninstall a program and then turn windows features on or off now you can search for turn windows features on or off and take you straight here but just make sure the dotnet frameworks are installed on the system click ok and restart your pc let it download through the Windows updates. This will download it and install it on your PC. And you should have no problems once this is done. So I'm going to let this download and I'll quickly restart the PC again. It's important that you restart the PC because these do need to restart to make them work correctly. So I won't bore you with the installation and also the restart. All I'll do here is I'll quickly show you once I've restarted the system and we'll open up the program to see whether the program opens. In fact, I know the program will work because obviously this is the requirements that this program needs. So let's go back into the folder here and we're going to go ahead and click on the executable file, click run. And once we've done this, you should see this box pop up, say yes. And there we go. And once we've got this uh, opening up here, the program should load. There we go. And the program is now opening perfectly fine. Now, I just want to show you this useful little one here, which is Visual C++ redistribution runtimes all in one. These have all been put together on a Tech Power Ups website. What you can do is download this. It's kept up to date quite regularly. And what we can do here is choose a country where we want to download it from. 
And once we get this downloaded, we can uh, unpack this and uh, extract all. And this will save you having to download all these one by one. You can see there's a big list of them right inside here. We can now right click on this and run this as administrator. This is the install.all. It's just a batch file. A prompt box will open up and it will start to install all of these one by one. And it's very useful. This means you don't have to download them. These have all come from Microsoft's website. So they are safe and it is a reputable website. It's a simple batch file that is basically going to allow you to install all of these files. And once you've done this, you can restart the PC and you should be good to go if you want to use that method. I'll try and leave all the links in the video description for you. If not, check my website and they should be over there. Now, before I wrap this video up, I just want to give you a little word of caution here. Be careful. There is a lot of YouTube videos that will tell you to go off onto the internet and download the DLL file from uh, some dodgy website. Do not download DLL files from strange websites. You're just going to get yourself infected. And uh, the best way to do it is the way I showed you here. This is the proper official way of fixing any sort of DLL errors that are missing. And uh, normally it's the program needs this to run correctly. And this is the correct way of doing it. So stay away from downloading files from strange websites. You're only going to get yourself into major problems. Anyway, but that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If you've got a program that is kicking up a DLL file error when you're running it, then try this method. Hopefully this resolves your problem. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.